Diving into history, a comprehensive review of Unit 1, U.S. History, Spring Semester. Welcome to Diving into History, where we delve into the fascinating world of U.S. history. In this video, we're going to review Unit 1 of our Spring Semester investigation. We'll explore key concepts, significant events, influential people, and landmark court cases that have shaped the United States. So buckle up and get ready for a journey through time. Sweat v. Painter. First, let's talk about the Sweat v. Painter case. This was a landmark case in 1950 where Heman Marion Sweat, an African-American man, was denied admission to the University of Texas Law School because of his race. The case challenged the separate but equal doctrine established by Plessy v. Ferguson in 1896, which allowed racial segregation. The Supreme Court ruled in favor of Sweat, stating that the separate law school for black students was not equal in terms of its resources and reputation. This case was a significant step towards ending racial segregation in the United States. Executive Order 9981. Next, we'll discuss President Truman's Executive Order 9981. Issued in 1948, this order declared equality of treatment and opportunity for all persons in the armed services without regard to race, color, religion, or national origin. This was a major step towards ending racial discrimination in the military, which had been segregated since the American Civil War. The order led to the end of segregation in the services during the Korean War. Threats of communism in Asia, conflict in Korea. In a news conference on April 7, 1954, President Eisenhower expressed concern about the spread of communism in Asia. This was during the Cold War, a time of heightened tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. Eisenhower's domino theory suggested that if one country fell to communism, its neighbors would soon follow, like a row of dominoes. This theory influenced U.S. foreign policy and led to increased American involvement in Asia, including the Vietnam War. The Korean War The United States intervened in Korea during the mid-20th century in response to an act of aggression. In 1950, North Korea invaded South Korea, aiming to unify the country under communism. The United States, under the banner of the United Nations, intervened to prevent the spread of communism, marking the beginning of the Korean War. This was part of the larger context of the Cold War and the fight against the spread of communism. The Hollywood Ten and McCarthyism. Hollywood wasn't immune to the political climate of the time. The Hollywood Blacklist was a list of entertainers who were denied work in the industry due to allegations of communist ties or sympathies. This was a result of the Red Scare, a period of intense fear of communism in the United States. Many talented writers, actors, and directors had their careers ruined by this blacklist. Cold War Tensions and Nuclear Arms Speaking of the Cold War, let's look at this photograph. It's most associated with the Cold War era, a time of political and military tension between Western Bloc countries, led by the United States, and powers in the Eastern Bloc, led by the Soviet Union. This era was marked by proxy wars, a nuclear arms race, and the space race, the GI Bill. The U.S. government made efforts to increase college enrollment during the late 1940s and 1950s. One of the ways they did this was by passing the Servicemen's Readjustment Act, also known as the GI Bill. This law provided a range of benefits for returning World War II veterans, including low-cost mortgages, loans to start a business, and tuition and living expenses for educational or vocational training. Impact of the GI Bill The Servicemen's Readjustment Act of 1944, also known as the GI Bill, had a significant impact on the post-war U.S. economy. It expanded the middle class by providing guarantees for college and home loans. This led to a boom in higher education and suburban development, shaping the modern American landscape. Brown v. Board of Education In 1954, the Supreme Court made a landmark decision in the case of Brown v. Board of Education. They overturned a previous court decision, Plessy v. Ferguson from 1896, ending the decades-long idea of the separate but equal Jim Crow doctrine. This ruling declared that segregating public schools was unconstitutional, marking a major victory for the civil rights movement. The baby boom. Finally, let's talk about the baby boom in the 1950s. This was a period of significant population growth in the United States, largely due to the prosperity following World War II. By 1959, there were over 50 million children under the age of 14 living in the United States. This demographic shift had a profound impact on American society leading to changes in housing, education, and consumer culture. That's all for today's review. Remember, understanding these events, people, and concepts is key to understanding U.S. history. Keep studying and you'll do great on your test.